All right, everyone. It is September 2nd, 2012. We just finished our live service uh, over at Tiny Chat live stream. What a wonderful service we had. I mentioned this article uh, over at our service. Join us again tomorrow night, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have had a Labor Day weekend revival. So many have uh, come to salvation this weekend, uh, have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Now this article uh, was sent to me by Doug Ames, brother pastor Doug Ames. If you follow my channel, if you follow us over at our live uh, Church of Yeshua, our live service on t at Tiny Chat, uh, you know who Doug Ames is. Now get this, uh, for the uh, Democratic National Convention, this came out yesterday, September 1st, 2012. They erected, they built a giant 16 foot sculpture of Barack Obama and they uh, made it out of 15.5 tons of sand and they displayed it at the Democratic National Convention. Now building a giant sand sculpture of a living leader, they're calling Obama a living leader, might be considered a bit tacky with its worshipful implications. In other words, they built this giant, giant uh, 16 foot sand sculpture of Obama for people to walk by and to worship. But God had other plans for Obama. Now, get this. This is unbelievable. I think God, and talk about Harbinger, God uh, wanted to show his majesty, his glory, his power. A torrential downpour that struck Charlotte on Saturday afternoon damaged the Mount Rushmore style sand sculpture of President Obama. Out of nowhere, a torrential downpour of rain, but not the kind of rain that comes down, straight down. It was a sideways rain, wiped out the statue. Wiped out the statue. I mean, no one's gonna walk by this living uh, monument and no one's gonna worship it now because I think uh, you do not anger Yahweh. You do not anger the Lord your God. So anyway, on sa in Saturday afternoon, a torrential downpour and sideways rain came out and wiped away Mount Obama. I'm going to put the link to these articles below. Leave me comments. Join us tomorrow night, uh, Labor Day, 7 o'clock p.m., for our live service over at Tiny Chat, I'll put the link below. I want to thank all that have supported uh, my ministry, Trumpet of God Ministries .com. Uh, Tomorrow we're going to talk about the Nephilim. We're going to talk about the fallen angels and what uh, can be expected once the church is removed. Leave me comments.